How's it going, everyone? It's Flutter Tie, or or replacement tie until tomorrow. And today we're going to react to the first time we are ever going to be reacting to. Well, first time any of us have reacted to the odd ones out. I'm pretty sure we have done an Jaden animations reaction, and we still need to do more of those. We. I'm sure we've never done the odd ones out for for whatever stupid reason our brains had. So, today we're going to be reacting to him. And this one is called Monsters You Didn't Know Were Under Your Bed. I'm one of them. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Anyways, it's, it's been a while since I... You no, know, watch an, an odd ones out video. You no, know, wow. So, what we're do? Let's go. I tried to do the best message HD, but I failed. Boys and girls, come hear my greeting. I hope you don't plan on sleeping tonight for a while. You are dr dang. James, a, James is a poet. Evil awakes, unearthed and creeping. There's things that thump, things that bite, things that go bump in the night. What are these things you sit and ponder? Brace yourselves. We call them monsters. What? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I thought you were going to say who that was. <laughs> He's going to tell us about monsters, but they're not going to be that scary. Silence, you dirty apparition. Don't you <laughs> see the danger you are in? For what I speak is 100% real. Don't believe me? Just it's my pet peel. This guy is nuts. <laughs> what? I'm not an apparition. I'm a ghoul. The first monster we'll see today Wait a minute. is something... They don't believe in monsters, but they are monsters. What is this? What is this? At, uh, likes to eat hay. First they champ, then they stamp. Starting to think this odd one's, I mean, this phone doesn't... Or do you record does not want me reacting to the odd ones out. Which is weird because I mean seriously, this isn't the first time it happened. I tried to react to the one of these around like it'd be like board games or something like that. Or you know, just games I don't know. It was the last one that I'm pretty sure. And that sort of thing this sort of thing happened where it just it's like it, it didn't allow me to do it. It's weird. Then... Okay, I can't speak in rhymes for the whole thing. I have a question for yeah. you guys. Are you familiar Unfortunately. with the term furry? <laughs> oh, come on! He talks about furries way too much. What? Well, after doing research on these monsters... Look at the werewolf. Furry is a new concept. Humans, for whatever reason, have always been obsessed with personifying animals. And who can blame them? Look how cute these guys are. Now I'll... I actually do that for my comics. But, but, in my opinion, it's not because I like humans humanizing the animals. It's because I can't draw the animals. Well. Like, I, I do it... I can draw dogs and cats really well. But when it comes to stuff like horses... Or like, uh, friggin', um, chickens. Yes, chickens. Well, I can kind of do chickens, but I can't, can't, at the same time. I, I'm forced to draw them as human, because I can't do it. I mean, seriously, why do you, I mean, seriously. I make Luigi in my little pony Equestria Girls comics. Why? I haven't really done it before. Don't question why I do it. Them my comics. I can do what I want with them. Like uh, friggin. I the only reason why I I was planning on doing it for Wager MLP, but like I couldn't because I don't know how to draw ponies. Nonetheless, the the style of homies they they have in the show. So I had so I had to turn to the next best option. How do these 
monsters follow a similar pattern. So if you ever wanted to Frankenstein up a monster, all you have to do is take two already existing animals, one of them being preferably a human, and then you just gotta... <laughs> oh god, that's terrible. That, that, no, that looked too disturbing. Well, I know about mermaids. One part sexy, the other half is just some lady. <laughs> what has sexy? Scarier combination? It's called a hippo campus. Half hippo, half collar. They say after four stressful years, he accumulates a hundred thousand dollars of debt, and right. everyone in his field is hiring. <laughs> oh, I'm just messing with you guys. Okay, but for real, a hippocampus is a half fish, half horse. Oh, like what? a neopet. What? Yeah, a uh, Fiopian. I had one when I was like two. I used my Christmas paintbrush on it. You guys okay? aren't scared of a literal seahorse? Well, how does it kill people? Like, like, can it turn them into stone? Uh, no, but the Scandinavians have a version called the Kelpie that tricks humans into riding them, and then it drowns the humans. Probably should have started with that one. That's evil. That's... Okay, I guess. <laughs> All right, Edward, if a murderous horse doesn't put you on edge, then how about this? A monopod. Yeah, that's right, it looks just like a regular person, but it only has one leg. Whoa, are you calling amputees monsters? No, this amputee has one giant leg. And by the way, these guys date back all the way to 400 BC, way before the first amputee ever existed. Also, despite them only having... Hey, amputees like, are good people. Supposedly... Amputees are good people. Of course, you can tell that's definitely different from amputee. Very fast. So imagine this guy aggressively chasing you at midnight. Yeah, I'm sure you'd piss your pants. Looks like some of them attack on Titan or something. Two. What about this? A bloody... Again, looks like a regular person, but oh wait, where's its head? I don't see it anywhere. Oh, it's on its Finding chest. What? Kind of Pokemon. <laughs> Come on. Hey, <laughs> Mon-chan. Why would you give this guy a hug without suffocating him? My dad doesn't have a head. Also, he rides a horse, so this is all a pretty normal Tuesday for me. Headless horseman? All right, it's fine that you're not scared, because I've been saving the best monsters for last. Everyone, meet the Surpopper. It has the body of a lion, the head of a lion, but the neck of a snake. Ugh, okay, that would be really kind of terrifying. That, long of a neck. that would be kind of terrifying if it, Imagine if, it could reach if it's hunting you down, then that's pretty terrifying. Its neck, and then you just think it's a normal old lion and say, hey, that's pretty scary, but at least it's 20 feet away from me. And then its head would just extend out of its body and then bite your head off. Speaking of snake-based creatures, what is the second most mischievous animal? Answer, the snake. Snakes represent Slytherin from Harry Potter, and these guys are always up to something. And snakes were responsible for the fall of man. But do you know oh, yeah. what the number one most mischievous the animal is? Been fruit Answer, or whatever. the fox. He's been in a ton of fables. He's a master hustler. So the fox and the snake are two of the most mischievous Oh no, animals. combine them. But what if they had a baby together? Well, take a look at this monster from Chile called the... The... I can't say it. Yeah. The Jirabulu. There we go. It's a half fox. Half yeah, what's to say? And it has a claw for a tail. And it also creates whirlpools to drown people. Now, this would be a really cool monster if it wasn't so terrifying. Yeah, that'd be you know pretty scary. Snake -based I would to show you. Take a look at the Amphisbina. 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 I said it right. It's a half okay. snake, half snake. snake, but the same half. It's a snake with two heads on both ends for double biting action. So it's cat dog, except cat cat or dog dog. I think it'd be cool if there was In a way that was the snake's tail on both sides. That'd be so useless. Oh wait, that's just an oversized worm. How would either one of them poop? Mm. Great question. I honestly don't know. Tell that to cat dog. Snake-based monster I'm going to show you is called the Chelolita longicollis. That's its Latin name. Its real name is the Snake Neck Turtle. It's a lot like the Serpapard with its long neck, but instead a turtle. But I doubt you'll have. That's actually pretty cool. There's no way these abominations can be real. No, those are real. Huh? They're what? indigenous to Australia. I saw one at the zoo with my dad. <laughs> what? There's no way these things can be real. No, they're definitely real. But do you know what isn't real? The freaking real? All of us. None of us are real. Oh god, no. No! Don't make them off! Well, so, those are real? My goodness. 
That's actually no. Why do you think we all have the same voice? You're talking to yourself again. It's been three weeks since the accident. You need to snap out of it. What? What are you guys talking about? You're talking. <laughs> so, you? Oh my god! Hey, you! Knock it off in there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, no, 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 that is on now. Yo, some very scary and spoopy monsters. Oh, 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 okay, I mean, that, that was stupid. Why do you say that? Well, yeah. Hey, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you like it. Leave a like, obviously. And subscribe if you're new. I don't know why I'm using this voice, but I'm going to use it anyways. Of course, go subscribe to the other channels, especially TV. No, I was about to say TV and Comedy. Well, go subscribe to TV and Comedy. But go, most importantly, go subscribe to Flirta. It's my channel, Flirta's channel. Best channel ever. <laughs> anyways, of course, go subscribe to be like Thunder Clouds. Quick Stop 21. And our newest YouTube friend, Under Creeper. <laughs> I said that word. Under Creeper, yeah. And most importantly, not more important than going to subscribe to Fire Tire, but still pretty important. Go subscribe to the Odd Ones Out. And I will see you guys next time. Oh.